Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to tell you all about DaVinci's databases and how you can use them on different computers so you can access the same projects. Before we start, my name is Rico Richardson. I upload weekly videos on DaVinci and Darktable. So if that's something that you're into, please consider subscribing. Now let me show you how to do that. And the first thing that you see when you start up DaVinci Resolve is this menu. You get to pick the projects that you've made and uh, that you started editing and you've got a database and usually it says local database and that has to do with the fact that it stores its original database on your hard drive so the one from your computer i already unlinked that one i'll show you in a minute how to do that in this case i'm using a samsung t7 touch portable ssd i'll put a link in the description down below and i'm using that to move it back and forth between my computer upstairs and downstairs and the whole reason for that is because I'm shooting my videos upstairs in my studio and I'm editing them downstairs so I can spend more time with my girlfriend and the dog. And this comes particularly in handy when you want to share projects with others as well. There's basically two ways you can do this. I'm going to show you both ways because I do think it's important because if you don't want to set up a database the way I have, then there's still an option to just share your project with someone else. So that's the first thing that I'm going to show you. So in this case, let's say I want to share the Xiaomi wireless keyboard and mouse video, the project of that. I want someone else to work on it, to add a color grading or to just do some minor adjustments. Or maybe I'm working together with someone that's editing my videos. And I give them some hints and tips what I want to address in this video. If I want to export this, I'm going to click the right mouse button and I see a couple of options. One is import project, so that's vice versa. But in this case, we're going to do export project. And it will prompt you with this explorer and you can give it a name and then uh, save as export files and then hit save. So I've already got some projects over here because I was fiddling about with the database, but I finally figured it out. So that's why I wanted to share it. I can hit save and then when I'm at my other computer and I start up DaVinci Resolve, I can select the right mouse button and go for import project. And then go to the folder where I've stored it, select it, and then hit open. And then the project will appear here. So that's one easy way and a very fast way to do it. But if you have a lot of projects, it might be a hassle to do it every time. So now I'm going to show you how to set up a database. So first we need a new database. And then we've got two options, connect or create. So if you don't have a database just yet, you'll need to select create, select a disk type. Instead of PostgreSQL, you can give it a thumbnail and you can give it a name, which can't have any spaces in between them. And then you can select the location. So then just go to your external hard drive and then select it and you'll create a database there. In this case, we already have a database, so I'm just going to navigate to there. So I'm going to navigate to the folder that we've just created with the new database. To show you that this actually works, I'm going to unlink my database. And if you unlink or disconnect a database, it won't show up here anymore, but the database is still there. So let me disconnect it. The database is still there. So don't worry, don't feel like your projects are gone forever and you can't find them. But right now we're going to get them back. So in this case, new database, and we're going to connect it. And we're going to connect it with a disk and the name. I'm going to call this Rico Richardson. And I'm going to navigate to the folder where we've created a database, which is this folder over here. It's on the T7 Touch. I'm going to select this folder and I'm going to select Add. And boom, there you have it. So all my projects are now here and even my old projects. And that's another thing I want to teach you or to show you because I had a lot of projects previously because I just had one computer. I wanted to make sure that I could access those projects on both computers as well. So you need to select the right mouse button, click open file location, and you will be prompted with this window and then select resolve projects users guest and then open up the projects which i can't show you right now because it's high class secret stuff and a lot of projects i haven't been posting yet so uh just bear with me on this one so just select this one open this one up and then drag all your files or your previous projects into this folder by just going to the file location where you've stored them so resolve projects 
then select all of them, copy them, and then go back to the folder that I showed you. So guest and then projects and then paste them there. And then once you've restarted DaVinci Resolve, you will see all your projects. So I'll show you just a quick thing because I've made an archive folder and these are all the videos that I've already posted. So it's not too bad. So these are all the projects I've made, which were in my original local database. And I've just copied and pasted them onto my new database. And now I can just open them up on this computer, but I can also open them up on the computer downstairs. And if you want to go back because I've added a separate folder, you can do so if you go to the first one. So that's the home one. You can just select new folder rather than new project and that will create a new folder. So in this case, that was the archive folder. And then you can just copy and paste or drag everything into the archive folder. Now let's say I'm upstairs right now. So let's say I want to work on the Xiaomi wireless keyboard. So let me double click it. And if all goes well, it will open up the project. And it prompts me with this message. Please update the gallery stills location uh, because it's inaccessible. So let's go OK. And that might have to do in this case because I've got some files stored. So, uh, so a couple of photo files stored on my computer downstairs. So make sure you always put them on the same disk. But this is exactly what I wanted to show you because all the media is offline. Like what is going on? So in this case, we need to link everything back again. So I'm going to click on videos and you see that everything is offline and I can't work with it. Enrico, what is this? You said you could work on the same project. Yes, you can. All you got to do is select these clips. So I'm going to select the first one, hold shift, select the last one, and then hit the right mouse button, select relink selected clips. And then just navigate to the folder where the clips are stored. And then magically all your clips will appear again. So that's it for the databases. So this is how you can use one external SSD and drag it between computers and just start your edit on one computer and then finish it on the other one. And the same goes when you're working in a team, you can just export your project and they can import their project and make sure that they do have access to the files and then everything should work clean. So I hope you like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. And that's it for this week. So if you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button down there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!